Hey everyone, today I'm making chamomile sweet cakes. They're inspired from another YouTuber called The Green Witch. She does an anti-anxiety chamomile sweet roll, yes, like Skyrim, and I kind of wanted to do a play on that. Mine aren't going to look the same because I have a different type of pan, but the whole point of doing it is using what we have on hand since we're all staying home and in quarantine. So let's get started with the recipe. I have the oven preheated for 350 degrees and when they eventually go in they're going to bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prep my pan. I'm going to use butter and a mixture of sugar and flour to coat the sides so that they don't stick. I added the sugar kind of based off of a tip from the Green Witch where it kind of gives it that crispy sugary edge. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be prepping the tin. Um, I'm just going to use my hands for this. The recipe is going to need one and a half sticks of butter so I'm taking this other half a stick and I'm just going to kind of prep my um, this is a mixture of flour and sugar and I'm going to put that in each section and then basically we're going to be coating the sides with the flour and sugar mixture So it's going to look like this, that way it doesn't stick to the sides of the pan. So with the chamomile milk, it's basically going to be bringing the milk to a simmer, uh, to a low boil, basically to get that milk nice and warm so when we put the chamomile bags in there, it's going to steep and infuse. So what we have in here is just a cup of milk. We're going to be bringing this to a simmer, and then I have three bags of chamomile tea that I'm going to be putting in there to simmer and steep. So I'm turning it down a little bit. I'm going to add one, two, three. Boop, boop, boop. I stir my milk counterclockwise because the recipe that I took inspiration from is anti-anxiety. Chamomile is known for being helpful against anxiety and stress and panic. And so in addition to that, when I stir counterclockwise, it's a banishing movement. So I'm banishing anxiety from the area and from my milk and setting the intention as such. Now that it's nice and bubbly, I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to actually take it off. I'm going to take it off of the heat and let it cool. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting our dry ingredients in this bowl. We have one and two thirds cup of flour. We have one cup of sugar. We have a total of one and a fourth teaspoons of baking soda. A total of one and a half teaspoons baking powder. and a total of one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Now that all the dry ingredients are whisked together, we're gonna to be adding our wet ingredients. We have our melted butter, And we have egg whites, vanilla, sour cream, and chamomile milk. So now we're going to be pouring it into the pan.
So now we're going to put these in the oven. So like I said, at 350, it's going to bake for 18 to 20 minutes. And then when it comes out, we're going to let them cool down. And while it's cooling, we'll start making the icing. So they're out of the oven. I think I overfilled the pans a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to trim the bottoms to make them sit flat. So while those are cooling, I'm going to make the icing. This is the chamomile milk and some vanilla. And then we've got powdered sugar. All right, I think I have the consistency that I want, so let's check on the other guys. All right, guys, here they are. As you can tell, I'm not used to have to make things look pretty. Um, I usually just kind of bake and eat. But here is my attempt to make them look nice. They look decent. Uh, I'm not used to having to make stuff really pretty. Uh, but here we are. I could have baked them a little longer, as is the habit of my baking so far for these videos. Um, but they are delicious. I've already snacked on a couple, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. And per usual, I stream live video game streaming every night at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm uploading videos either witchcraft or baking related at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every day. So. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe if you want to see more like this or if you want to check out some of the other stuff that I'm doing and uh, leave a comment if you've tried this recipe or if you also follow The Green Witch because I love her channel. I love watching all of her stuff and I'll link her down below so that way you guys can check her out and check out the original recipe as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.